Hey there everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. This is Spiraling Helix. Last time we made our way through Marmalade Valley where we uncovered a giant fossil, obtained a bone and ran away from a giant chain chomp I think it was. Anyway, this time though we're, we're not gonna hang around in Marmalade Valley. I just wanted to talk to a few of those toads who were working on the expedition at the archaeology, the place, the digging. They were doing the digging. Anyway, as you can see from our map, it seems that that fossil, as that toad said, is unusually white. Seems like we have another place on top of the coin and the giant purple thing in there's a lot of things we need big paint stars though this episode though we are going to head to the next level which we haven't been to before Kawano temple in just a moment but first off we need to come back to Chateau Chanterelle as I believe we have something to tell the professor maybe something to Bring princess back. I mean, she's like a dog. Dogs like bones. So how about we come over here and we use our newly acquired bone card from the archaeological dig site, the fossil place. So let's scroll through all my cards. Why must it be that the things are on the end? Actually, I'm not complaining. Having them on the end is quite helpful. Professor was crushed by this giant thing! Now he's going to be in an even worse mood! Whatever are you talking about? That was a, that was my beloved princess! Mario, thank you for reuniting me with my sweet little girl. I suppose she's outgrown her little house here, but I'm glad she was able to visit one last time. If you come across any more bones, please share with her. She deserves a treat every now and then. And let her know that wherever she ends up, I'll be thinking of her. Oh, and I've got a little something for you, as a small thank you for helping me out. Follow me. Yes, it seems that all these scuff marks and all of that was from a chain who keeps a pet chain chomp. They, they eat you. Ah yes, now where were we? Of course, I was about to give you a small reward. A fellow at the dig site was about to throw this out, but I thought it might be of interest to you. Be careful now, it's as sharp as, um, something very, very sharp. You'll have to pardon the analogy. I'm a paleoarchaeologist, not one of those, um, good talking guys. Ah, I forgot it. It's as sharp as the spine on a spiny. Yes, that will do. You got sharp spike. Cool, and that's all we came here to do. Yes, that was very annoying, but we had to go do it. So, now that we've collected our sharp spike, it's time to not head to the next level. I know, I know, guys, but I want to show something off, okay? Just a moment, it won't take long. Now, I haven't been to Prisma Museum for quite a while, and we've done a fair amount of things, collected a fair amount of things. So I'm going to show you something interesting with the things at the moment. Welcome back, pal. The ringer knew you'd be back. Now, what can we squeeze for you today? Well, taking a look at the menu. There's something interesting about the bone. It says 
coming soon. I want to buy it. I want to buy it. But no. I cannot buy it. Please come again. Interesting. And do you actually tell me anything? Yes, I need to know anything. You must seek a formidable thing that has been stolen and stowed away in the Golden Colosseum. Have a really special thing? Okay. Well, I wonder what this thing could be. Hmm. Well, for some reason, which we will get to in a later episode, we cannot collect the bone. It will not be in Marmalade Valley either. It seems to have been stolen and taken away to the Golden Colosseum. But with that out of the way, it's time to move on to Kawano Temple. Oh boy. This level. Ah. Yeah. This level is fun. Anyway. Yeesh, someone really went overboard with the decorative spikes in here. I'd like to get a closer look, but as a rule, I try to avoid giant pointy spikes of death. Yes, our paint stars seem to be behind that spiky door up there. And there's a whole lot of more spiky things in front of that door. We have stumbled upon a shrine to the spinies of some sort. Anyway, there seems to be no way across, so let's head up here. Maybe we can jump down from above. And that is a new enemy that I am avoiding. Now, I highly, highly recommend you come over here and get this now. Because if you don't, you won't be getting it. Just, just watch. As this pillar seems a bit unstable. Uh, oops. Well, at least we can get across the spikes now. Eh, it'll be fine. I mean, the train isn't running, and we got the colourless spot over there. And if you didn't, I would turn, like, just close the game from the ho from opening up this menu. Because if you go to the map, it'll save. And you don't want that to happen. Anyway, taking this, it can roll off a bit like we're a gerbil. It can roll along all the spikes. But this colour spot here, this was very hard for me to find on my first playthrough. In fact, I somehow, I think I got it by only just hammering the block from down in front of me there. And there's more over here. Do not hammer these blocks. For obvious reasons, that mainly involve death. But let's check out this door. This is the kind of door you get when you're really tired of solicitors. Looks like it's missing a spike. Do you think that spike the professor gave us would fit in that hole? Give it a try. That sharp spiny looking spike that looked like the spiny spike of a spiny really was a spiny spike. <laughs> Come to Papa, Paint Star. Okay, let's go. And of course, being a new level, there is unique music to go along with it. Welcome to Kawano Temple. This level sucks for one reason, which I'll get into later. But for now, it's actually decent. I mean, it's it, it's it's an ancient ruins dungeon -y level. Hold on a minute. Did I just get a blaze hammer that was already colored in? What? That's awesome. <gasps> Another one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's so many. Anyway, again, new enemy. I'm going to ignore him because we are forced to fight some later. But he actually gives a pretty good card. However, lighting those four torches reveals a power. And if you've ever played a game with Mario and a power more along the lines of the original 
arcade one. That, uh, that does a fair amount of damage. Hitting the pair, flips over the turtles. Careful though, cause a whole lot of turtles fall down. Now though, if we grab this. Grabbing this star lets us instantly kill the spinies. I should have killed these two quickly. There we go. So lets us comfortably kill all the spinies very easily. Not only that, it's as if you went through the battle, so you we, you can obtain the spiny cards from doing that. That room is fantastic for farming spinies, although really it's only once you've got the big paint star that we are making our way towards slowly through these levels. Anyway, getting a lot of pals. Guess the game really wants us to use them against spinies. I wonder why I could be giving us so many. Okay, now I do not believe I can make that jump over there. So let's head over this way. And yep. I think I might have to fight enemies just so I can heal. Okay. All good. Avoiding enemies. So much more fun. Makes it risky. Means you lose health. Means you keep just getting money and cards. Because oh my goodness. Look at how much money I have. Anyway, if I take this down here, I can crush this spiny. Hehe. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, you want to position that a bit past halfway so that you can safely jump up here again. But let's hammer all of these away. And you know what? I think I am going to fight an enemy because I've got so many pals. Let's go! Is it... It's just the one spiny. It's... I've got... Five? Six pals! Six of them! Oh my goodness! That's so many! Anyway, let's use it! I think this is a new card, actually. We haven't used a power before. Time of... So it's kind of a reverse jump. You want to hit it when... Like, you want to press the button as... Oh, I thought I didn't kill it for a moment. As you're punching it... If you hit the button as you're punching it, you have a very high chance of crumpling your opponents. Now, spinies don't really get crumpled because they flip upside down. I believe, though, if an enemy is to be crumpled, they will take way more damage. And of course, they do not get their turn. Come on, let's do better than a nice. That wasn't better than a nice. But it still does it. More coins. Oh yeah. Let's let, get get off the roof. Get off the Eh! Okay. I think I'm gonna backtrack for this spot because it's <laughs> Die! You get crushed by my rolling ball thing. It's basically a hamster wheel. Anyway, position that like so. Run back here and grab this. And continue on with the level. I'm really struggling with coming up with things to say because this level, again, I kind of don't like it. It's kind of samey with a lot of a lot of games. Although it is worth noting one thing in particular that I'd like to bring up. I've been saying that... Now, I've been saying a bit recently that yeah, the levels are kind of boring and eh. Trust me guys though, it's only this part of the game that's kind of eh. It gets much better once we get the big paint star here. It's all good. That's a good thing, because it means the bad part isn't 
at the end of the game. The game just keeps getting better. But now, it's finally time to show off this enemy, because if I don't, he's... If I don't, he's gonna keep shooting me with the spike balls, which freezes me in place and knocks me off at the rolling wheels. So, here we go, new enemy. We have the spike. I am gonna try and not kill it, I guess, by using my hammers, because I have a lot of hammers. Here we go. Just two hammers. Shouldn't kill it. Unless I get an excellent. That's gonna kill it. Dang it! I wanted to show them off. Like I, I was going, I was going for a great slash excellent there. Wait, what? The the spawn he just left. He just spun completely out of the battle. No. No. Fun fact about these spiny wheels. They move slower when you're on them. Which makes sense, Mario's a big boy. He's, his mustache weighs him down a bit. But, oh hey, look at that. Another new enemy. Oh hey, look at that. It's Mick. What are you gonna do to me this time? Please be nice, Kamek. I'm begging you. Do something different, please. Okay, I can't see my cards. I would love to show off these new enemies. But alas, Kamek has other plans. I might be using a pretty good card here. Please. Please don't be a good card. Okay, Iron Jump. That's good. That's actually good. So, the Spiked Goomba is basically just a shy guy with the Spike Helmet, but it's a Goomba. That is an example of a crumpled enemy. Now, I have been crumpled... Wait, I'm in the Iron Jumps. So, I'm going to go left a bit, and hopefully this is a normal jump. Yes! Okay. Now, crumpled, I've been crumpled before, but yeah, the first jump there killed us. I don't think it would typically kill a spike. Jump off. No way. Yes! Oh. Oh, okay. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. That means I don't have to come back to this level off camera to get the cards because actually no spikes are in various levels i probably wouldn't have to come back here it's pretty tricky to tell which way is up on this wheel but we made it and i have to show off these battles because you have to do these battles now that instead of sitting around doing nothing let's go and use a fire flower in fact, I'm going to be extra safe and use a nice flower that I don't have coloured in. And I'm not colouring it in because it uses up so much paint. It's like half my paint gone. And I won't need it. I just want to get rid of the cards because... Look at it. You couldn't tell the difference between both flowers there. Perfect bonus. Okay, now, seeing as I'm apparently not showing off what the spikes do, it's effectively what you've seen them hit me with, not in battles. They somehow throw up a spike ball, and then they throw it at me. And then I get hit, and then it hurts. This one, though, we do not need to kill. I highly recommend saving, guys. Save. Save your game. Do it. Trust me. If you see a save point during a level that isn't before a final boss or a big paint star, you should save. There's a there's a reason why it's there.
I got you, bud. I'm gonna pull you up. Ready? Heave! Well, that was a close call. You'd be looking at the game over screen if it wasn't for me. Hey, look over there. Two mini paint stars, one right above the other. But how are we gonna get over there? Yikes, forget about the paint stars. What are we going to do about this lava? It's rising. Quickly run. You have a very limited time here. No, 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 okay. So as we are going through this room, if that lava catches up to you, instant game over. Back to the title screen. These weird floating boulders also pop up. Don't bother looking ahead to see where they might be because chances are you're not gonna remember. Usually the coins are a good way to go, but don't go for the cards. They're there to trick you. See, that one, you cannot get that one. I believe you can afford to get hit once. Only once can you get hit. If you get hit more than once, you are screwed. Also, you can knock away the cards and coins with the edgers of... <laughs> no! Well, this will prove if I can get hit more, more than once. Or even once. <gasps> okay. Yep, it's only once. Well, if it ain't a delusional duo. Who would I thunk that some merry-lipped senior citizen and a rusty trash can would make it this far? Not me, boys. Not me. Course, now that you're here, I'm afraid this is where your story ends. Listen here, you overgrown thumbtack. We're taking that paint star. Get ready for a fresh coat of pain. Can it can, man. This is shiny painting. This shiny painting thing is property of the spiny tribe of Kawano Temple. It's not going anywhere. Now you're gonna throw yourselves in the lava, or do I gotta do it for you? We have, right after the instant game over section, a proper mini boss, I guess you could call it. And as such, now is the time when we use all those powers that it gave to us early on. With this boss, he deals a lot of damage. But if you knock him with a power, you can hit him with any card. Of course, I use hammers when I could have used jumps. And a sort of nice hammer strikes. But yeah, he doesn't have too much health. Like, even Morton has more health. Morton? I think it was Morton who we fought at the beginning. I almost used a jump card. He is standing right way up. So I am instead going to use two cards that are still jumps. Yes, I'm using my iron jumps. Here we go. And one, two, three. And I think I might be able to kill him on the next turn. Maybe? Why is he hiding it? Oh, enemies just do it. Okay, I was worried he I was gonna shoot him off into the wall. But he stayed in his shell. That said, he is the right way up, so I can't use normal jumps. How about I show off a card that we got quite a while ago, back in Sunglow Ridge. The spin jump and a hell hammer. Haven't showed that one off either. That's the spin jump, that was poorly timed. You time it like a hammer. The whole hammer you throw from a distance and it bounces on all the enemies after that. Time to, oh, no, he's not attacking me. Okay, let's end it off with the fiery death of the lava right next to us. You're going down, big Oh. Oh no. Oh no, it's charging up. Oh shoot, there's another enemy. This changes things. This changes things. I have one card to do this with. One card. It's time to pull out the big guns. There's no way he's surviving this hammer. Goodbye, swoop. Swoops are like the weakest enemies ever. Here we go. Okay. 
Oh my goodness, I got scared. I swear that took longer to build up to the excellent than the normal hammers. But we've done it. He drops a spiny? What? It's... Okay. Okay. I did not know he does that. But let's grab him. You know what? No. I'm going down here with the platform. This is how you get the red mini paint star. Course clear. We've done it. And... Yeah. I'm sure you can see why I hate this level now. We have to come back all the way to that point through the instant game over death room to get the other mini painster. Thankfully the boss doesn't respawn. Now in case you're wondering, this red mini painster that seems to go in the completely wrong direction is not optional. You have to grab it. You have no other alternative. We don't need it yet, sure, but you will have to get it at some point. Anyway though, next time guys, Let's explore where that opened up. It's not gonna be a foot. Jeez, too many paints. So many mini paint stars. But we won't be able to get either of them up there. So let's explore what little we can of Red Pepper Volcano. Grab the other mini paint star in Kawano Temple. And go see what that hollow peach has for us back in Port Prisma. With that, this has been Spiraling Helix. Bye bye.